Hello Internet, I am the Hero of Julius once again with another One Piece card game video. A little while back, I did a series on my ideas for some stage cards that I feel like the game kind of needs. We have this whole section of the, uh, of the mat that nobody ever uses, but after seeing some of the cool stages that are coming out for set 6, I figured it would be a time to try and so try something new, try something different, and while my last custom card video didn't do so well, I liked making it, so I kind of wanted to do it again. So, to contrast the stage cards I created, I think it would be nicer to try out getting rid of the stages themselves using event cards. So for every color, I made two event removal cards that are designed to get rid of stages as well as potentially doing other things here and there, depending on the colors appropriately. So, as always, we will start with the red cards, starting with, of course, a two-cost-to-play red event card, Gum Gum Elephant Gatling. Uh, a main effect of KO up to one of your opponent's stages with a cost of four or less. Its trigger KOs one of your opponent's stages with a cost of five or less. Elephant Gatling was the attack Luffy used to destroy the Noah. It's actually kind of appropriate that the Noah is a stage card now. I had actually made these before set six came out, so I, I figured eventually Noah would be a stage. I did not think it would be this soon though. I think it's appropriate for its cost considering a stage is something that you only need four of in your deck, and you're only going to have maybe two of this event, so I wouldn't run four of it, because what are the odds your opponent's going to draw all four of their stages? This card does completely obliviate, ob obliviate? Destroy? Completely remove. I will admit that a card like this would completely destroy decks that rely on Onigashima or any other stage, but at the same time, it would also make players less likely to discard their second Onigashima or similar stage. The next stage removal I have is Drill Dragon Drill Nail, a 4 cost to play event card uh, with the main effect KO up to one of your opponent's characters with 2000 or less power and up to one of your opponent's stages with a cost of four or less. So while it does the same thing that um, Elephant Gatling does, it costs two more because it also has the potential of removing a character. Its trigger just KOs an opponent's stage with a cost of four or less, so it has a weaker trigger than Elephant Gatling. What I like about it though is it sort of shows the double feature that is this attack. See in Dressrosa, we learn that the Drill Dragon Nail is used for removing the Continent of Ice, which could very well be a stage someday in the future, but it's also something for removing enemies, as we see here with Lao Ji. Moving on to green, we have an event card that actually doesn't get rid of in a, a stage, it just rests it. Fire Pearl Lucky You. Uh, its trigger activates its main effect, and its main effect for two cost is rest up to one of your opponent's stages. It does not become active during your opponent's next refresh phase. Not every stage refreshes, so not every stage requires being turned sideways. However, this disrupts your opponent's Onigashima, this disrupts their Galley Law Company. If they're using Thousand Sunny, it's a problem. If they use the upcoming um, Thriller Bark, these are all stages that would be disrupted, if nothing else, by Fire Pearl Lucky You. The reason I designed it this way, though, is so that you can combine it with the second green event card I made, Buggy Ball Demonstration. Main effect, KO up to one of your opponent's rested stages. Its trigger activates its main effect. So for three cost, you can get rid of any stage under the caveat that it is rested. What's nice about this is it teams up with the Fire Pearl because it allows the Fire Pearl to rest a stage and then you can get rid of any stage for 5 Dawn. Or any stage for 2 Dawn one turn and then 3 the next turn because it didn't refresh during your opponent's refresh phase. Uh, this uh, combo is useful. Um, I made them both East Blue so that they could both be searched by the Nami from set 3. I don't think I would see this any more played than two ofs, and I think that's going to be a consistent thought for all of these events, is that no one's going to run four of them because your opponent's not going to run more than four stage cards. 
This blue event card was made with the leader Nami in mind. The Gum Gum Axe, an East Blue Straw Hat Crew event card for three cost. Its trigger lets you trash the top two cards of your deck, but its main effect lets you trash the top card of your deck and then you may KO one of your opponent's stage cards with the same or less cost than that of the card that is trashed. This card can also work great in a queen deck that has very high cost characters since, you know, you'll be getting rid of any stage if you trash the 9 drop Mihawk you placed in your top of your deck thanks to your little Doflamingo. I don't know exactly how many stages or what good stages are going to be in the future of this game, but as it stands right now, I believe Birdcage is the most expensive one at 5 cost. Give it time though, we'll see. I'm always wondering what a 10 drop's gonna look like. Speaking of high costs, our next one is the 7 cost Ursa Shock. The main effect of this event card is to return up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 8 or less and up to one of your opponent's stage cards to the bottom of its owner's deck. This does seem like a powerful card to me, however, even though it's a 7 cost getting rid of an 8 cost, you're not putting a body on the board like you are with Mihawk or Doflamingo, but you know, you're getting rid of 2 cards for the price of 1 under most conditions. Overall, I think this is probably the most powerful stage removal event I have made because it gets rid of any stage card and an, and an 8 drop. But at 7 Dawn, it's not going to let you do much else on your turn. Moving on to purple, we have Gum Gum Leo Rex Bazooka. This uh, main effect is Dawn minus 3 to KO up to one of your opponent's stages. Its trigger lets you add a Dawn card from your Dawn deck as active. Yeah, this seems way strong considering it just gets rid of any stage, but this does set you back half a turn because you are Dawn minusing three, not two, three. So even if you are at 10 Dawn when you do this, you're only going to have nine Dawn in the following turn. I didn't know what I wanted to use for a film related stage removal card and Luffy's Gum Gum Thor seems more like a character removal rather than a stage removal, so that's why I picked this one simple attack. Our other purple event card is Ground Seco, a 2 cost to play with a Dawn minus 1 effect, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 2 or less, or up to one of your opponent's stages with a cost of 3 or less. Its trigger just activates its main effect. It is good. Uh, it's kind of a switch hitter because I kind of plan on it being combined with black, allowing you to reduce the costs of your enemies or, uh, you know, getting rid of a small blocker in your way. It's not a very strong card. I think if I was going to redo this one, I would change its cost to one maybe, or maybe get rid of the Don Minus. But I felt Don Minus was very appropriate to the purple set, plus the crocodile that is purple yellow, that purple yellow leader croc that uh, allows you to gain back the Don uh, is very appropriate for this card. Our next event comes from Dressrosa with the 1080 pound Phoenix. Its trigger activates its main effect, and its main effect is an event that costs 2. Give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2 to their cost, then KO up to one of your opponent's stages with a cost of 3 or less. I think the only thing I would change about this after I've made it is maybe give a character or stage minus 2 to their cost, that way you could get rid of uh, a 5 cost such as the birdcage that came out. But overall, I like this card. I think it does exactly what it's set out to do and can get rid of a stage card if there's one available. The other one is straight to the point, Dragon's Breath. A 5 cost to play, KO one of your opponent's stages. That's it. Gets rid of the Colosseum that Sabo's destroying right there, gets rid of the Birdcage, gets rid of any stage card, but it doesn't have a trigger and it doesn't have any special counters or any uniqueness to it. It is just right to the point, get rid of anything. At 5 Dawn, it doesn't leave you much to do with the rest of your turn, and you can't manipulate it into life with a black-yellow deck to try and take advantage of circumnavigating its cost. It's kind of like Gum Gum Red Rock, but without a trigger getting rid of 4 drops. Next up, we have Heavenly Fire, and yes, I do know Heavenly Fire is already an event card, but if we can have two Fire Fist, we can have two Heavenly Fire. This two cost to play event card lets you trash the top card of your life stack to KO one of your opponent's stage cards with a cost of five or less. Its trigger lets you KO one of your opponent's stage cards. 
This card is just like Thunderbolt in that it gets rid of something that costs five or less at the cost of your life, but its trigger is way more powerful and because of the starter deck Big Mom, it's more intended to work with her, allowing you to manipulate it into your life stack than actually having you use the card itself with its main effect. Finally, for our other yellow event, we have Cross the Red Line, a three cost to play Vinsmoke family card that lets you add one of your stages to the top of your life stack. Its trigger lets you activate the main effect. So uh, the reason I did this was because the Germa Kingdom splits apart, it climbs up, it becomes its own like solid kingdom together or it's these individuals. But what's most important about it is that it moves. And this is a great way to strategically take your stage, having already used its ability, and moving it to your life stack, granting you one extra health that you've been just sitting on the entire duel. Not exactly a stage removal event card, but it removes it from your side of the field, so it's still an event that interacts with stages, and I'm going to stand by that. So there you have it. These are the 12 event cards I made that sort of interact with stages. Nothing too crazy, nothing that I think would shake the meta, unless you guys think otherwise. I would love to hear people's comments on this, because I, I do like tinkering with the idea of event cards and as other custom cards and I think it would be fun to make my own series on what I would make in my own personal booster pack. Regardless though, if you have any ideas for custom cards I should make, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. This is the Hero Fulios, Xing out.